so what's going on everybody i hope your new year is going great so far i know uh, like always i'm a little bit late this time as well but no worries uh, this video was not planned at all i just came across this idea that i should share this amazing library with you guys that's why i uh, that's why i'm just making this video and it's going to be a quick one okay the name of the library is native wind if you already know about this library then you can skip the video but if you don't then just please and be with me till the very end okay so a little bit backstory not long just just a short one uh, when i first started using tailwind css i was really amazed and i used to think that it's only for react.js or next or next.js like uh, only for web but i was wrong when i discovered this amazing library known as native wind i discovered it now uh, a while ago but i'm just sharing with you guys today because i i have a little bit free time today okay so uh, you can install this in your bare uh, react native cli app or you can just install it in your expo app as well okay with this you can use tailwind css in your native applications and now just simply write this down and please notice don't install this with npm or you'll be facing errors okay um just write this down like follow the documentation and uh, i'll just give you the steps that you should keep in mind okay i've already installed this you can see and i had a lot of errors I i'll just tell you how you can solve them if you face them okay uh, install this and then just write down npx tailwind css in it and then you'll be able to notice uh, this file at the root of your project inside of that uh, initially this will be empty okay like this so instead of this you just have to copy this code from here to here okay and every time just keep in mind and uh, never ever copy this plus sign because you'll be just um, getting some syntax error and if you're new to this you might uh, get overwhelmed and you might get confused okay so just don't copy this plus sign and after that just go to bevel file also in your root folder and write this line down initially you won't be having anything if uh, the project is new otherwise if you already have some plugins uh, just add this um native wind slash bevel text only for example if you have other plugins like this then just add a comma and then add uh, this name otherwise if you don't have anything if you have a new project uh, you're just setting it up and just paste this whole line from there and once again let me remind you never ever copy this plus sign and that's it that's it guys you just have to do nothing and in matter of seconds matter of minutes your tailwind css is set up okay but the problem is if you do it uh, you can do it right now and you can try it 90 percent chance is there that you will face an error and that error is this use process css dot then to work with async plugins okay what to do if you face that problem just downgrade the version of your tailwind css to 3.3.2 i don't know what's the matter with this but this is the stable version and this is the working version as of now okay today it's 25th and at this moment uh, this is the latest version that works well okay so in future if it updates if this answer updates i don't know like i'll just leave the link of this post in the description you can uh, um, come back and check it whether the version has updated or not okay so you just have to downgrade to a stable version and as of now it's 3.3.2 okay so uh, that is it once you do this just come inside your working file and you can just give it any property like i'm giving this at this moment a background color of 
400. See, this color changed. Now I'll be giving it a flex, maybe. Flex of one. Um, I don't know what happened. Like, maybe I'll have to give the flex to this auto one. No, no, no. Maybe to this as well. Flex one. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we have this now. Okay. And after that, um, just um, items center and just by center so that I have this text at the center and uh, we can uh, just write text 3xl so just make it a little bit bigger and uh, now in app.tsx you might see this warning uh, like that underlines your class name that's not a problem that's just uh, it's just visible to you and it just don't um, it just don't harm your code in any way or your application in any way it's just a warning because class name is not a property in react native it's a property in it's a it's a property for websites like in next.js in react.js but not in react native that's why it's showing if this file would be a dot js then no problem would be here okay but nowadays whenever you init a react native application you get dot tsx file that's why I, I, I just didn't uh, updated it to a js i just uh, left it like that so it's just a warning okay and by this uh, the information informational material of this video has ended now if you are here till this very end i think you love watching my videos and if that's the case Thank you so much first of all and secondly you can just uh, support this channel in uh, different ways but one of the easiest way is to buy my stickers and nowadays I've created some really great stickers I think um, just check it out see how cool is this how cool is this journal how cool is this spiral notebook see and how cool is this sticker see really it's cool it's cute just get it for yourself if you love cat if you love programming i have other stickers as well just go and check it out and maybe just buy them to support my channel and see this one really great yeah and maybe just if you don't if you can't buy them or if you just don't want to buy them maybe just share them with someone who can buy it Okay, so that was it for this video. I'll be uh, posting maybe regularly now. Not even, not if, even if not regularly, then maybe twice or thrice a month. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.